Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new series to go alongside my Dark Souls 2. Something to uh, contrast the intense gameplay of such a fierce game as Dark Souls 2. I figured it would be nice to delve into a video game genre. I mean, not usually touched by people on the YouTubes, and certainly not on the Gaming with Zoshi slash Michael channel ever before, so I present to you Nancy Drew, Message in a Haunted Mansion. This is, I believe, the third of a video game mystery series based on the popular novel series based around the adventures of the female detective Nancy Drew when she goes around doing stuff. Yeah, sounds good. Basically, we're going to solve a mystery here. I have to say that this game is a little old, but I played it when I was a kid, so you know, I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Although, unfortunately, I never really had the mental prowess nor the courage to complete it, because it is a little scary, you know, for a kid. And also pretty tricky, you know. It's Nancy Drew. So, Welcome to without further ado, cyber mystery. why don't Message we in just dive mansion. in? I know. Your difficulty level Message in a haunted mansion. If yes, yes. Games, you might want this to is click Nancy Drew talking to you, of course. To learn how to play the game. She's a very talkative person. And she'll be helping us, of course, along our adventure. So, why don't we get started here? We've got two options junior detective, senior detective, or tutorial. But come on. <laughs> I don't think I need that. All right, so let's delve into it. I do not want to have puzzles that are too difficult. This I time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. I like You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese Send furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Oh, that's Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of, accidents. lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? Ooh, sinister. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Uh-oh. Love, Nancy. All right. Well, that does it for the introduction. Here we are, dumped into the realm of mystery game right here in our room of this old Victorian mansion in San Francisco. I don't know why they have Victorian mansions in San Francisco, but you know, whatever. Either way, lots of Chinese themed decorations. This is our room here. Well, I said I have never beaten this game before. I have played other games in the series. It is quite an extensive series of fantastic mystery games, great story, great acting, great mystery, great all, all that kind of stuff. So, um, there are certainly certain things that the games in this series carry over, but nevertheless, I believe each one poses a certain unique challenge. Anyway, it's a point-and-click adventure game, of course, so you've got your inventory, you've got your investigating stuff, so if we use our, uh, We'll key on the suitcase. You can check out her notebook here. Accents, why so many? Yes, very nice notes, Nancy. Speaking of notes, I have brought along with me some notes for myself because this is a mystery game, you know? Got a piece of paper and a pen right in front of me to mark down any suspicious stuff we may come across. So, right here. Of importance Listen, is this. my child, to this story of dreams, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his ray, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. Oh my goodness. Alright. Very interesting. So we have this nice little poem here with certain highlighted words. 
I believe those will come significant later. I have a certain recollection of the game, even though the last time I played it was a, a long ago. Although I will admit I did have a practice run. Well, not really a practice run, but the recording screwed up because this is a very old game and it looked like crap. So we're doing it again, but that's no big deal. Hopefully it'll work this time. Anyway, if we look over here, you can see this nice dragon sculpture on our fireplace. And blow it on this plaque. We have our first little Chinese symbol here. This uh, little doodly dad here. When the ten daughters are reunited in order. Uh, in case you didn't realize it already, Nancy will kindly spell it out for you. I believe this is one of the many pieces of that central poem we have in our room that symbol, so maybe, just maybe, it might come in significant later. Daughters of Diligence. If we check back on the tapestry, daughters are right there, one of the highlighted words. So, I'm just gonna mark it down as I suggest you would do the same. Write the symbol, the little saying, and circle daughters, because they go together. Anyway, if we check over a bed, we've got an alarm clock, this can be useful. Time does play a factor in this game, and if you want to sleep to a specific time, that's where you do it. In all of these games, that's a typical feature. Anyway, that just about does it for our room. Also, I did, oh, forgot to mention it there. We do have a very suspicious bedpost it's here. Stuck. That's stuck for now. We'll get back to that. Anyway. Why don't we leave to our hallway now? Alright. Here we go. Down the main upstairs hallway. There are two ways we can go down here. Oh. It is sometimes a little difficult to keep track of perspective. But, I believe... Yes, we can't go down that way, so... Just head down the stairs for now. Here we are, the main room. Got a very lovely chandelier there. Head down this side. Why not? And here we are, main hall. Beautiful. This is our, I guess, central hub area. But if you go down here, you can get to the dining room, which is where we will meet up with Rose. Who is the Hello, lady? Nancy. I'm very right. glad you could come out here. Oh man, we did you really look at these animations? Help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? Ah, well, it doesn't matter that much anyway. I can't wait. Last night, choose some of our limited passes. dialogue options. What here. exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things, but then the scaffolding collapsed. And just last oh, very nice. They have the company logo on the mug there. I don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. Oh, quit your whining, lady. Some children are starving in Africa, don't you know? I can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? I'm not one to believe in bad luck. But it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates uh, are so affordable. I guess... I sometimes wonder, though, if this I think old Charlie's the worth more handy man guy the working on the reservation. Enough chit-chat. Hannah it's tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm oh, sorry yeah. for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. Alright, so basically she says... You don't get shown around, whatever. You have to figure it out all yourself. This door is not leading anywhere. There are a lot of doors in this game. They're just garbage. I know, here's the dining room. That's where she'll be. Here we can see our little schedule. We got Lewis. Don't know who he is, but Charlie from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Charlie is the renovation guy, she says. And Abby, I believe, is another tenant here who's out from. Three to six, but otherwise stays here. Wow, she must have like no life. But either way, I've written all these down. 
So that's good. Ooh, drum. What's in here? Got candles, pencils, photo, sunglasses. Ooh, what's this? Your fire show. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's insured for one million dollars against fire earthquake damage. The soul benefactor? Oh, that's suspicious. So she recently renewed fire insurance. For a lot of money, too. That's that's very curious. Very curious indeed. Either way. We are here to help with the renovation renovations. So, she still has to work on this puzzle here. That she and what's her face lady tried for hours. Which I think is kind of pathetic because this is super easy, but it'll be our first puzzle of the game. So it's not that difficult. You stick all these things together. I believe the thing that changes between expert and beginner detective is the difficulty of the puzzles. So perhaps if I was on expert detective, this would be a little trickier, but I don't think you need to see the intense gameplay of me fiddling with pieces into a, an inlay. Although, I will say that this puzzle is surprisingly finicky when it comes to the placement. You have to be pretty precise. But I, did it. I think that just about does it. Very nice. Kind of sad that they tried for hours, but you know, she was probably exaggerating. Anyway, is there anything else you can check here? Um, get some paint, hammers, exacto knife, but no. I believe you can check this magazine too. Yes, the new American Bed and Breakfast monthly 10 tips to sell your BB. A renovation disaster. Yes, yes. Open her up. Hmm. What do we have here? Classic revival. Materials for a twin size bed. Huh. Hmm. Well, this doesn't seem that exciting. But uh, apparently you can zoom into it, so who knows? Maybe we'll be building a twin size bed. Alright, how the heck do I get out of here? Oh my goodness, alright, there we go. By the way, who the heck orders the bed and breakfast monthly? Are you kidding me? Whatever. Anyway, we did the thing, so we talked to her. I finished. I finished! Wonderful! But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. All right. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. Charlie keeps them. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. See you later, lady. Actually, does she have anything else to say? How are the tiles uh, coming? I'm still, still working, working on them, lady. Don't work too hard. Calm down. Alright, nothing. Alright, that's good. We're out of here. Proceed out here. Oh. Got this nice design on the floorboard. Got a phoenix there. Anyway, we need, she said we needed a paint scraper. I believe you can also check these phoenix things on the stairs. This one is it's mysteriously missing an, eye. missing an eye. Strange. Either way, if we look around the main hall, you can see right here, that's the address of the place. That is 4653. I wrote that down earlier, so perhaps it'll become significant later. Oh. Did you see that? Hmm. That chair. Mysterious. Maybe this place is haunted. Oh, shoot. Who knows? Either way, what we need here. From the scaffolding. Ah, yes. Right around here. There we go. Grab the paint scraper. I do remember where that was hidden from my childhood days. Anyway, let's head up this way. Ooh, creek. Oh, goodness. Scary. Anyway. We see this right here. Hmm, what could this be? 
Well, you know, why don't we, why don't we... Ooh. What was that? A chandelier. Well, you know, I... I found this as a kid one time, you know? Oh, exciting. What goes on when I pull this from my times? Ooh. Only one more thin rope. Well, why don't we pull that, what? huh? Oh, shoot! The chandelier, no! What? Um, I oh. the chandelier and it crashed to the floor. Oh, I dear. I can't believe it. No wonder Rose asked you to leave. I don't know what got into me. Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next house you stay in, okay? Especially if it's ours. Ouch. Alright. Well, there you go. That's your first game over. So, uh, yeah, be careful around the chandelier, you know? Otherwise, you get kicked out. That's There's two ways the guys in these kind Two ways to die in this kind of game, you know? Either you get straight up killed, or you get kicked out, you know? While I seemed like pretty calm at the time, I'll tell you, when I was a kid, oh man, that did not make me happy. But either way, that's how you drop the chandelier, you know? In case you ever wanted to uh, do that kind of thing, but, you know, who knows? Maybe someday. Somehow, somewhere. Holy crap, did you just see that? A lady blinked. Oh man, this game freaky. Alright, anyway. As I was saying, you know, maybe someday, somehow, somewhere. That chandelier. Maybe we'll need to drop it, who knows. Anyway, creepy blinking ladies and creaking aside. Why don't we head up to the attic? I believe that is where told us to go. So how do we get to the attic? Ah, there we go. Take up the ladders. I need a paint scraper. Paint scraper. Well, I just have another paint scraper right here. Oh, wait. What is this? It's locked. Oh, it's shoot. Locked. It's locked. You know, I have to say, I doubt that our personal suitcase key will work in that lock, so I don't think I'm even going to bother. Either way, why don't we head back to her one last time? How are the tiles coming along? I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting, but unless it's really important, oh, shoot. I've got other she things to do. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not right, Dumbwaiter in the hallway. Sounds good. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. Mmm, suspicious, suspicious. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that just about does it for episode one of Nancy Drew Message in the Haunted Mansion. But, oh my, there are many mysteries going around. What's with the hauntings, the blinking paintings, the weird chairs? Obviously, I don't think there's any ghosts around, but who could be, if there's no ghosts, who could be staging all these? Hmm, we already have very suspicious evidence against Rose just happened to have a million dollar fire insurance mm. insurance fraud is very common in this day and age you know but who knows but what about Charlie hmm renovation guy we'll see him later why is he working for so cheap and they said that all the things didn't show up until they start being renovated. Hmm. Suspicions against him. Either way, we'll see these characters later and more next time on Gaming with Zoshi. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for both Dark Souls 2 and this. The mysteries have only just begun. Alright, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.